Hey, what's going on, guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I uh, got an email from our buddy Adam, director of maintenance over at Alarion the other day, that they were going to be removing the APU from one of our Gulfstream G4s. Asked me if I wanted to come over, shoot a little bit of video for it of the, uh, the process happening. The problem is, I'm out on the road like 2,000 miles away. So Adam graciously went out with his uh, with his phone, recorded some video footage for us, didn't want you guys to miss out on this, and I'm really glad he did, because it's really cool stuff, stuff that I've never seen, never been able to, to be around for an APU coming out. So uh, he sent it over to me, got it smashed together, and made a little video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, leave me some comments, and I'll get back to you on any questions you may have. I'm sure there's going to be some, because a lot of this stuff, I don't even know about it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Have a look. Today we're going to be removing the APU from a G4. It's a fairly quick process, and you wouldn't think so because it's an engine, but here's where it sits. And step one is to, of course, take off that panel. So that's what I'll be doing first. This here is a palletized APU. See a few connections up in there that got to come off. Inlet duct, exhaust pipe, a couple of bleed air lines, and then you loosen the pallet, disconnect the fuel lines, the electrical for the ignition, loosen the pallet, she slides right out. And just to show you, it's not just a little piece of flimsy aircraft skin. This panel is actually part of a self-enclosed firebox. So if the APU catches fire, it will be self-contained and self-extinguishing. So that's a pretty stout panel. It weighs probably 30 pounds. Here I am in the aft equipment bay, pleasantly known as the hell hole. Lots of stuff jammed in here. Everything is jammed in here. Um, yeah, there's your black boxes for those of you that love them. It's not actually black, it's plays orange. But anyway, back to the APU removal. We have this enclosure right here. And uh, this is a firebox and it's got these panels on it. <clears throat> you have to take them off in order to get to all the attachments and cannon plugs and fuel lines and whatnot. So, come into the aft equipment bay, take all these panels open, and uh, there's your starter, starter generator. And if you, if you look in right here, you'll see this duct. It's kind of dark, and I apologize, I'm doing this on my iPhone. But, uh, there's a duct right here, and it's held together with, oh, you know, 70 or 80 screws. No, I exaggerate. You can see it a little better from the front here. This is the inlet. All the cold air from the outside comes screaming down through here. And then, there's a shot of the turbine. Kind of cold. There's your fuel. The fuel comes in right there. Anyway, just about ready to slide this thing out. Um, basically attached by this bolt here and this bolt here and a similar set on the other side so hopefully another 20 30 minutes I'll have this thing out and we can take a closer look at it ladies and gentlemen I present an APU this is an allied signal also known as Honeywell GTC P36-100 APU for a golf strip. So there it is. A really big shout out to Adam and his team for making this video possible. Without them, you guys never would have seen it and neither would I. So a uh, big thank you to him and uh, Alarion for making this all uh, possible. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next Tech Tuesday. Keep living the corporate pilot life.